Hello everyone. As things begin to open back up and with the church returning to in-person gatherings this Sunday, we're going to be scaling back the number of video devotionals that we send out to one or two each week. We really appreciate the encouragement that you have given to all of us. It's just really kept us going. And I especially want to thank Heidi, whose face you don't ever see on here, but who works harder than any of us to make this happen. Now, in my sermon yesterday, I shared my concern about the division in our country over just about everything. In my lifetime, I've never seen the nation as polarized or politicized as it is right now. Even things like when and how to resume in-person church services is a national controversy. So here's what I plan to do in the days ahead. I plan to be patient with people who hold a different opinion from me about things like social distancing, wearing of masks, going to restaurants, and attending church services, and a hundred other things that we all have strong feelings about. And whether I agree or disagree, I'm going to assume that other folks are doing the best they can and that they have their reasons for why they think what they think. I'm going to listen more than I speak so that when I speak, I can do so with a better understanding of where others are coming from. And I hope to especially practice this with my church family because it was within that context that the Apostle Paul wrote, if you bite and devour one another, watch out or you will be consumed by one another. Galatians 5, 15. You know, as Christians, we have a unique and wonderful opportunity right now to show the world how good and pleasant it is when people live together in unity. And since we don't live in the power of the flesh, but in the power of the Spirit, let us not become conceited in our own opinions or provoke one another in any way except to love and good works.